we're sharing a recipe that I'm told is better than takeout, plus it's better for you too. We have the recipe today for pineapple beef lettuce wraps. Whitney Cummick is joining me from her own kitchen with this recipe. Whitney, it's great to have you on Studio 5 today. What makes this recipe better than takeout? Well, takeout is super convenient, but if you are like me and have food intolerances, allergies, or you just generally want to feel better, you can control the ingredients at home so that you know exactly what you're putting in your body. What dietary restrictions does this recipe check then? So this recipe is gluten-free and dairy-free. It's soy-free and nut-free, and it also abides by the paleo diet, the Whole30 diet, and the AIP diet. Look at you, well done. Yeah, people out there are sitting up and, and taking notice. We love a good sauce around here, Whitney. What goes into this Asian sauce? Yeah, so really quickly, we'll mix it up. I have some coconut aminos, which is a soy sauce alternative. So that goes in there. And then one whole lime. So that's a whole lime juice. Some ginger powder. So some seasoning in there. Also some salt. And then you just mix this up until you're ready to cook it. Easy enough, easy enough. What's yeah. our next step? So you, you wanna thicken the sauce. We want it nice and sticky. So we are going to use this arrowroot powder. It is a grain-free alternative to cornstarch, which you can also use cornstarch. But we're going to make a slurry, which is where you just mix a little bit of water in there and you make a slurry. So when you cook your sauce on the stove, you'll let it boil and simmer for a couple of minutes. And then you'll turn the heat off and mix this slurry in there and it'll thicken right up to make your yummy sticky sauce. So that's the last thing you add to the liquid once it's warm? Yes. Okay. All right, what goes into our lettuce wrap base? So we have this delicious beef and pineapple and onion mixture, and it's seasoned with just the right kind of like ginger. It's super yummy. Mm, fresh pineapple, canned pineapple, does either work? Yeah, either works. I like using fresh pineapple, but if you buy canned pineapple, I would recommend getting the smaller diced pineapple. You don't want huge chunks in there, but right. you can use either. And a fun tropical combination that we don't reach for enough, the beef and the pineapple. We have on vacation, right? Or we order it at a restaurant, but how fun to have those flavors right from your own kitchen stove. Uh, wrap it up for us. Show us how we'd serve and, and eat. Yeah, so I like getting these uh, butter lettuce wraps. They're great for being able to fill, but you can also use romaine. You add a little bit of the mixture in there, and then we top it off with some shredded carrot, some more fresh yumminess, some cilantro, and give it another squeeze of lime, and it is good to go. My mouth is watering. I'm getting a little in the back of my mouth. All of that flavor <laughs> sounds so fresh and delicious and what we crave this time of year. We're kind of sliding out of comfort food season, if I dare say it, and into Absolutely. kind of the fresh palate, which you've totally plated up for us today and been gracious enough to share the recipe on our website. We can, we can find that there, but where can we go to get more of your recipes and more ideas from you? You can find me on social media at Wits Food Fit or on my website, witsfoodfit.com. Wits Food Fit. Give her a follow on Instagram. Whitney, thank you so much for sharing. I will be making this for my family, so I appreciate the idea. Awesome. Thank you.